Did Ravi Zacharias threaten to commit suicide if Lorianne Thompson told her husband about her online affair with Ravi? It looks like he did. In this video, I'll post Ravi's emails and you decide. Did Ravi pay Lorianne for her silence? It sure looks like it. Otherwise, why did he settle with her out of court? And most recently, did Ravi have anything to do with the disappearance of the damning emails he wrote that were posted on spiritualsoundingboard.com? Did he threaten Lorianne Thompson if they weren't removed? In this video, I'll give you the evidence, and you decide. Ravi's emails corroborating his online relationship with a woman were posted on the internet. Those postings have disappeared. There is no question that Ravi's relationship with her was wrong, as he insists she not tell her husband, and stated that he would end his own life if she did. I did not save the screenshot of the complete emails and exchanges between Ravi and the woman. However, attorney Steve Boffman did, and he sent it to me. It profiles Ravi's responses, as you will see on the screen. MinistryWatch.com posted an extensive article reporting on and confirming many of the claims against Ravi. Regarding Ravi's recent lawsuit, they said, quote, While RZIM has stated to us the ministry made no payments in the settlement of the case, in brackets, presumably any payments made to the alleged extortionists came directly from Ravi Zacharias, unbracket. They did not answer our question if Ravi Zacharias has received any unusual compensation from the ministry recently, which may have assisted him in making payments to settle the case. Unquote. The screenshot you are looking at right now is the masthead from ministrywatch.com, and the text you will see shortly is from the article titled As You See It on the Screen. The first screenshot is RZIM's response to Ministry Watch's inquiry. As you read, you will notice RZIM claims that the claims against him are mistruths and false allegations. However, if you compare RZIM's response to Ministry Watch to the screenshot of Ravi's emails, a very different story emerges. The second screenshot is also from Ministry Watch. Although Ravi refused to answer many of their questions, RZIM did reply with the following statement. Ravi claims that the Thompsons are unjustly attempting to extort money from Ravi and that he has not had any inappropriate activity with Ms. Thompson. This too contradicts the emails I showed you previously. On a side note, I find the language used by RZIM odd, particularly the phrase unjustly attempting to extort money. Is there ever a situation where extortion is justifiable? The language RZIM uses implies that there is, and we know that Ravi settled with the Thompsons out of court. What was the reason Ravi did that? Was the Thompsons' extortion, in fact, just? Were their claims against Ravi true? Did the emails back and forth between the woman and Ravi prove that Ravi was guilty of all the impropriety he was accused of? All the evidence points to the conclusion that Ravi did engage in an inappropriate relationship with the woman. Did he have anything to do with the emails disappearing from the website spiritualsoundingboard.com? Who else had motive? No one I can think of. We may never know the answers to some of these questions. However, I can assure you that if Ravi and his organization are trying to cover up this matter, it will not work. The email correspondence is out there, and it's not going to go away. And there are now many in the Christian community stepping up to the plate and admitting they knew about Ravi's propensity to fabricate his credentials, which is another topic altogether. 
However, it is a further confirmation of Ravi's lack of character. My advice to Ravi is step up to the plate, admit wrongdoing, and ask forgiveness from the Christian community. This is his only hope of putting this matter to rest and doing the right thing. If he continues down the path he's on, he will only harm himself.